Greetings to each and every child watching this video. I am Mr. Sunil Chhetri. As per the government rule to control the spread of coronavirus, we are cocooned within the four walls. Yet, we have to continue with our studies. So here I am with you in order to teach English grammar. The lesson which I will be focusing would be subject, verb, concord. That is credit. This lesson is focused and being imparted to the students of senior classes. What is subject, verb, concord? It means that the subject and the verb to always agree in number and person. What is a subject? Subject is a person or thing about which we talk, whereas verb is the doing work. Verb, as you know it, is the backbone of English. A sentence is incomplete without a verb. So, this two has to agree in number and person. So, my dear students, let's start with the rules which govern the construction of a sentence. Rule number one, a singular subject takes the verb in the singular and the plural subject takes the word in the plural. Let us illustrate. For example, singular, singular subject a boy is food. Here, the person we are talking about is a boy. So, he is a subject. It's a singular subject. So the verb which follows it has to be singular. That is it. That is singular verb. Similarly, since sentence boys eat food. Plural so, subject. So it has to be followed by the plural verb. That is it. Now let's see rule number two. According to this rule, when two singular nouns refer to the same person, the verb must be singular. I repeat it once more. When two singular nouns Refer to the same person, the verb must be singular. Let's with an example here. My friend and colleague is coming. According to the rule, Two similar nouns referring to the same person. So this person is my friend as well as is my colleague. So this person is the same person, not different person. So the verb has to be singular here. One more example I will give you. The poet and novelist has died. This 
person is both as the both characters here is a poet as well as a novelist so we are talking about one person having two characters so the verb has to be singular has has been used here see rule number 3 according to this rule when two or more nouns make one unit the verb must be in singular other words when these two nouns just give us one idea the idea which we draw is one then the verb has to be singular example look at this example rice and curry is my favorite food so this rice and curry they make one unit they give us only one idea that is food so the verb has to be singular verb Let's check our eyes on one more example here Bread and butter is perfect food. So this bread and butter, they combine and make one unit. They express one idea. So we have here singular verb. Now let's look at rule. Number four. When a singular subject is qualified by each or every, the verb must be in singular. Let's see here. Look at the sentence. Look at this. Each boy was given a present. Here, the subject is boy. It is qualified by each. So the verb here is singular. Second example, every girl has a book of her own, subject is the girl, qualified by every, it has to have a singular verb, that is has is a singular verb here. Rule number five. The phrase one of is always followed by a plural noun, but the verb is always singular. Example here.
look at the sentence. The phrase is one of, it has to be followed by plural noun, that is girls, and the verb which follows it is singular verb. It is plural noun. Once more I repeat it. The phrase word of is followed by plural noun, but the verb is singular, that is since. Another example here, the phrase one of is followed by plural noun and the verb has to be singular, so it's a singular verb here. Rule number six, when two nouns are linked by either or neither nor the verb agrees with the later noun. Let's focus on this example. Neither food nor clothes were ever able. So see, these two nouns, food and clothes, are linked by neither and nor, and the verb has to agree with the later. Now, see, this is the former noun, which comes in the beginning, it is the later noun, which comes later. So, the verb has to agree with this. So, and this clothes the plural, the verb has to be verb. Look at the sentence. The two nouns, the students and the teacher, they are linked by neither nor. And the verb has to agree with the later noun. This is the former noun. This is the later noun. And the later noun being singular. The verb here is singular verb. Rule 7. Nouns connected by with, together with, as well as take the verb according to the former noun. Earlier we had spoken that when we use neither nor, the verb has to agree with the later noun, but here, when we connect the sentence with, with, together with, as well as, the verb has to take the form of the former noun. Example. Look at the 
sentence. The mother with her children goes to work. Here, mother is a singular noun. Children being plural noun. And the verb has to agree with the former noun and that is mother. So we have singular verb. Rule number eight. The name of a book, house, Hotel, even though it may be plural, but it is treated as singular. See here, this is the name of a book, Gulliver's Travels, though the name is plural, but the verb, the verb is singular, it is a singular verb here. are taken separately, verbs can be plural. Here, look at sentence. A herd of cattle is grazing. It is taken collectively. So the verb here is singular verb. Such as clothing, food, furniture, crockery, cutlery, stationery, and footwear are singular, and the verb therefore should be singular. The furniture has been damaged. Furniture. Here is singular, the verb has to be singular. Singular now. You get the sentence? Clothing needs to be washed. Singular noun, so the verb has to be singular verb. Rule number 11. The nouns plural in form but singular in meaning take the verb in singular. There are a lot of nouns which has its form in plural. Let's see an example here. News. 
this is plural form, this is plural form, but its meaning is singular, so the verb is singular. Similarly, look at the other sentence here. Economics. This is plural in form but has to be singular in meaning, so the verb is singular. Phrases like a lot of, plenty of, most of, and some of are used as singular when they refer to the amount or quantity. They are used as singular when they are talking about amount or quantity, but they take plural verb when they refer to the number. Let's look at the examples. Look at the example there. A lot of work has to be done. Here, the phrase a lot of work here, it tells us that is the quantity of work which has to be done. So, it is, it has singular work. Now similarly, I have used the phrase a lot of, here a lot of boys, when we talked about the sentence, a lot of boys like these chocolates, we are talking about a large number of boys. So we are talking to the number, so the verb has to be plural verb. So my dear students, we have completed this chapter, subject verb conquered, please go through it, each and every rule, and if you have any doubt, you are most welcome to contact me, I am ready to fill your queries, enjoy reading and have a nice day.